Hi, welcome back to the second video on inventory management. In this specific session, I'm going to walk you through on economic order quantity calculation. By any chance, if you have a difficulty in understanding economic order quantity basic concepts, please do watch the part one. I have given the cards and video, you could see it. Just click on it, it will land you to the basics of inventory management. Now, the most important decision that we want to do is when to order and how much to order. And we are going to talk about how much to order and how much to order we have gotten three important models. So we have gotten three models. One talks about economic order quantity. The second one talks about economic prediction quantity. And the third one talks about economic order quantity with quantity discounts. These are the three models. In this specific video, I will be walking all of you through on economic order quantity. But to use economic order quantity, there are certain assumptions. Without these assumptions, you will not be able to use the EOQ model. You are going to talk about only one specific product. For calculation, only one specific product is taken into consideration. You will have an annual demand requirement, which is known. And then you are going to have the lead time. The lead time is the time taken between placing the order and then receiving the order is going to be constant. The demand is spread throughout the year. It's not like a seasonal product. The delivery will be attempted in a single lot for every order. You are not going to receive multiple delivery for a single order. These are the basic assumptions. Now let's look at a specific numerical. There is a local distributor for a national tire company which is expected to sell approximately 9,600 steel-built radial tires. And they want to assess in the economic order quantity. But to do that, the annual carrying cost is $16 per tire. Annual carrying cost, $16 per tire. The carrying cost is always calculated for the unit, whereas the ordering cost is calculated for the entire lot. And the ordering cost is $75. This particular distributor operates only for 288 days a year against 365. Now let's check in what they have asked us to calculate. At the first level, they are asking us to find out out of this 9,600 demand pattern, what should be the economic order quantity for the given demand. At the next level, they have asked us to calculate how many times does the store needs to reorder. So the number of order that must be placed for 9,600. Is it going to be three order, four order? Let's calculate for that. And at the third level, what is the length of the order cycle? If you receive the order today, within how many days you should receive the next order? Only after calculation of a EOQ and the calculation of a reorder, you will be able to do it. And finally, we will be calculating when you're going to order the economic order quantity, what will be the total cost? These are the four one you have got. First, let's go ahead and have the information given. The demand is 9,600. And then we have gotten the setup cost or the ordering cost S, which is given the annual ordering cost is $75 here. $75. And the holding cost or the carrying cost, which is going to be $16 per tire. Number of days they are working is 288. Only these informations are available to us. First level, let me calculate the economic order quantity. The formula for calculating the economic order quantity is two times into demand multiplied by the setup cost or the ordering cost divided by the holding cost or the carrying cost. So what is the demand over here? Square root of two. Demand is 9,600. And the setup cost is 75. The ordering cost is 75 divided by the number of tires that we have gotten is 9,600. And for every tire, we are going to incur $16 as the cost. So I'm taking 2 into 9,600 into 75 divided by 16. This has got a 90,000. Square root of that will have 300. So the economic order quantity for the specific order is 300. Let's see the second question. How many times per year does the store reorder? You will have three formulas to be taken into. One in terms of economic order quantity. Second, the carrying cost. And the third is ordering cost. This is the carrying cost formula or the holding cost, which we denoted as 
h carrying cost of holding cost is h and the setup cost or the ordering cost is s now what happens they have asked us to find out what is your number of reorder that must make it this is the only formula that we have got it for the order reorder point what you can do is here they have given the ordering cost but whereas we need the number of orders what you can do is you can leave out the ordering cost here and then take only the portion of demand by the quantity for the number of orders we are going to take the demand divided by the quantity now what is the demand 9600 divided by the quantity the quantity is economic order quantity we have gotten 300 9600 divided by 300 which will give us 32 order which means in a year we must do 32 orders so number of orders also we have calculated let's see the third question they have asked us what is the length of the order cycle length of the order cycle is the time between the orders how would you calculate already you have calculated the number of orders the same the formula lies in now what are we going to take is quantity divided by the demand for the length of the order cycle because you are not going to go for the entire demand once you have identified what is your economic order quantity and what is your number of orders based on this you will be able to calculate it now let's say the quantity is what is the quantity that we are in need of 300 the demand is 9600. The inverse of the number of order will be the formula over here. 0 0.031 does not make a sense because we do not know how many number of days the organization works for generally. In the specific sum, clearly they have given us the distributor operates for 288 days per year. So we are going to multiply 288. When we multiply the number of days the operator works for, then we have gotten the answer as 9. So the length of the order cycle is going to be 9. We have calculated 9 days is the length of every order cycle. So which means every 9 days once we must be placing an order. The last one, what is the total cost when we want to order the EOQ? Bring down the total cost formula. By any chance, if you have a difficulty in the formula, please do watch the part one series. So we are going to take the carrying cost formula plus the ordering cost formula, which is going to be Q by 2 into H plus D by Q into S. These are all the information that we are given. Now, what is the economic order quantity? Q stands for economic order quantity, which we have identified it as 300. Refer to the previous one, it's 300. So we are going to mark 300 divided by 2 into the holding cost, which is $16. Plus, demand is 9,600 divided by the quantity of 300 multiplied by the ordering cost, which is 75 per order. 300 divided by 2 into $16. We have gotten 2,400 which is carrying cost. Similarly, go ahead and find out what is the ordering cost for here. 9,600 divided by 300 multiplied by 75, 2,400, which means both the cases you have gotten 2,400 plus 2,400. The total cost of ordering the product is 4,800 or 4,800 the total cost. But you would say, why 2,400 and 2,400? For the total cost curve, you could clearly see that this is the carrying cost. As the number of quantity increases, the cost also increases. The number of order increases, the cost also increases. The number of order decreases. This specific point is where economic order quantity point. Now, what happens at this particular point? The cost, this is the carrying cost and this is the ordering cost. At this particular point, both of them intersect. At the intersect point, both of them are equal. The moment you try to supersede this particular point, any one of the costs will go. That's the reason whenever you are calculating EOQ, for the total cost, your carrying cost will be always equivalent to the ordering cost. That is your economic order quantity. If your economic order quantity is right, then your total cost component will be equivalent to each other.
That's all. Yes, I can hear that. It's so easy. I'm sure you are able to follow me. If you have enjoyed this video, please share it with the people who are in need of it. Let them also learn with you. Should you have any doubts, suggestion or comments, please do post it in the comment box. I'm happy to answer it. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Kapakam signing off. See you all in another video. Wish you all a wonderful day ahead. Good day.